buddy uh, just put an offer on a house today, so I'm a little nervous about that. It's my first house. There's a lot of X's to sign at, initial at. All right, so moving on to Mercedes, I kind of wanted to talk to you about uh, a few things. One, the next couple videos, uh, I'm going to do a video on tuning where I'm at now. I'll probably split that into like three, like some things you might want to change, um, some things that you might want to look out for, and also uh, reducing some timing. Like there's places on the stock timing where it'll knock retard. Like, uh, you know, I answered a question about this on Mercedes-Benz the other day, MB Forum. And someone said, you know, does it make any sense to run some ethanol in a stock, uh, you know, E63, uh, M157? And I said, yeah, it probably does because even stock, they knock retard individual cylinders here and there, like three degrees. And they kind of turn up some of the spots are a little bit hot, if you will, um, because, or they're a little advanced, if you will, uh, if you because of fuel efficiency. So if you actually look at like the optimum table, which is like they, Mercedes puts it on a dyno and figures out what would be the maximum in terms of power this engine will make. Um, and I believe that's under stock form, but it, it's not exactly one-to-one. -one. For example, like, uh, I don't want to get too much on a tangent, but like it, it you can't run um, an M278-190 with the stock fueling settings, or at, at the 190 desired load at stock fueling, so it'll, it'll misfire. <laughs> like, I know this, uh, I've been dealing with that. You actually have to, you know, change the power enrichment, you've gotta change the, you know, lambda under component protection, you actually have to change the injector, like pulses and clips and whatever. You've gotta make it a little bit more like a, an AMG in those areas. Um, so, that being said, um, that's what Mercedes-Benz on a dyno, you know, live tuning each cell came up with. So on um, the optimum tables, some of the numbers of timing advance are actually going to be lower than the base tables. And uh, in part, that's because some of the base tables are designed for fuel efficiency and uh, for other reasons other than, you know, maximum power. And a lot of times they will knock there. And... Um, Kind of like up high, uh, like like if you're looking at a table, like here and like here. And I guess that might be reversed. But basically, low load, um, kind of like, you know, low RPMs and also uh, higher load, mid RPMs. You know what I mean? Um, the, the, I find those places knock on the M157s, even stock. So you might want to run some ethanol. I, I said that. So we'll do a video on that. Um, I also wanted to kind of talk about like the community a little bit, you know, we're really hoping to kind of um, spur like more people talking and, you know, I really appreciate what Tassos is doing um, because he's just putting amazing information out there. And there's some other people too, like Goat Garage. Um, they have a really nice video about like uh, setting up a timing on, you know, and like removing a tensioner and like redoing one of the adjusters or whatever. Um, and that was, that was cool. And, I, you know, we're really trying to push that. We're trying to get our community kind of mirroring other car communities where the knowledge is shared a little bit more, a little more love, a little less hate. And, you know, I'm just out here trying to do that. I know I'm not as good at, like, mechanical fabrication as, like, you know, some people who do, like, turbos, you know what I mean? And just put turbos on cars that never had them, right? I know I'm probably not as good at tuning as like, I don't know, maybe a Jerry or someone, you know, um, or a Slav or whatever. Um, but, you know, no one's going to be perfect. Like the guy who does the turbos is not going to be able to tune as well as the guy who like, you know, does the, uh, the tuning, right? Because the, the ones and zeros are, are, are tough. They're, they're hard. And there's a lot of power there, uh, specifically. You know, it's not all mechanics on these cars. Uh, it's just not. And on the other hand, you know, I, I'm somewhere in the middle. You know, I can do some mechanical stuff. I'm starting to learn how to tune better. Um, you know, definitely not as good as some of the pro tuners. Um, I do help out some, like, tuners under different names. So, like, some of the mechanical guys will say they're tuning, and, or, you know, some of the other tuner shops will, you know, the speed shops will say they're tuning your car, but they'll reach out to someone like me who actually tunes it for them. Um, 
and they'll like run that or you know use a copy of someone else's tune all right so that being out of the way you can't just tear people down tell them they don't know shit or whatever you know what i mean because we're trying to move this community forward and the best way to do that is to share knowledge and everyone's going to have different knowledge bases um and you know some people might be able to talk about shit better or, or you know write stuff better or or you know explain stuff to people who uh, don't know quite as much about cars, you know what I mean? Maybe they love cars, but they've never really worked on them, you know? Or maybe, you know, it's they're, they're starting on that path, you know? Or they want to start on tuning. Um, so that's kind of like our goal and kind of what we're pushing with Tune Mercedes is to share knowledge, make it fun, share like kind of giveaways, you know, raffles, whatever. Um, and also bring people together. Like if I don't know what I'm talking about, like please share that, you know? And, or like, you know, help us someone else out, you know, like pay it forward. Uh, I think it'll really uh, improve the community. We'll get better tunes, I think, out of all this. Um, and, you know, maybe break down some silos. All right, guys, uh, until next time. And uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate it.